Hi there, it's Nicole Spore and welcome back to my channel. Today I am thrilled to be sharing three cards with you that are sentiment heavy cards, meaning there's more than one sentiment used on each design, plus they all feature brand new December 2020 release stamps and some dies from Colorado Craft Company from their Anita Jerem collection. So these are all new. So amazing. Um, I think I only didn't use two stamp sets from the release in this video. I will have another video next week that shares a couple more card examples. Um, so stay tuned for that. I absolutely adore this line of stamps from Colorado Craft Company and I know you guys do too. She is a beloved illustrator and her designs are just simply amazing. So I am very much um, a fan of snowmen. I love them. And so I was totally, you know, enamored with these two stamp sets that I'm gonna use. And then there's a New Year's one with cute little uh, mice or rats. I don't know which one they are really. Um, and then like lots of drinks and things like that that's really fun as well. So my cards today are definitely winter, ish themed but not necessarily holiday. I stamped this large image from the new stamp set called Good uh, Snow Good Sledding and this really fits pretty much an entire A2 card front. As you can see here this is a four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel of Bristol Smooth cardstock that I have stamped the image with Lawn Fawn Jellyfish ink and I'm doing no line coloring with Zig Clean Color Real Brush Markers. I know you guys are uh, fans of when I use these markers to color and I really wanted to show how you can create one layer designs that have a lot of dimension. When I'm using Zigs, because they are a water-based marker, I try to do anything light colored or that needs to be colored first so that we're not picking up color from another area. In this case, I did the snowman first and then I did the orange carrot nose so that I wouldn't pick up any of that ink and transfer it anywhere else. Then I'm doing the hat and the mice, anything light colored. Anything red, I have really worked at saving for last. And then what really makes the magic for this particular card and really the next one as well is coloring in the background. I know it seems a little intimidating because it's quite a bit more surface area, but it is so worth it. Um, before I do that, I do need to color the other mouse lying down there at the base of the snowman or snowman. There is the perfect spot then for our sentiment, but I really want my sentiment to be white embossed on blue and the blue is so the dark blue is going to set off the snowman perfectly. So I'm using a little deep blue and then the haze blue that I used for the snowman and the snow to blend that out. With such a big surface area and not adding water because I didn't want anything to run at all, I don't have the best control as far as watercolor that would work really beautifully. So I am just kind of slowly pulling that color across the design and then I will go back the other way to get rid of any lines or harsh lines or as much as I can. I worked kind of slow, um, adding more blue, dark deep blue as needed and pulling that color out and across the design. You'll notice as more and more of this deep blue gets added, what a huge difference it makes just coloring this in. Maybe you are not a fan of Zig markers. You could always stamp this with your favorite ink, whether it's a black outline ink or a no line coloring ink and color with Copic markers, alcohol ink markers, colored pencils, anything that you like to do. And definitely if you are watercoloring proficient, this would be amazing. 
one of my resolutions for this coming year, it's probably been a resolution for the last couple years, but I really, really want to learn and take some classes on watercolor so that I can start sharing some of that in my videos. I just love the look, but I am not great at it. I am now kind of just picking up some of that deeper blue. I'm not actually adding any extra and pulling it into areas of my snowman. I will do that a little bit more here in a second, even as well, just because there are a few areas that I wanted some deeper, darker shadows. Adding a little red then to the band on his hat and the ladder that the mice used to climb up him and use him as um, a slide. I think that's so much fun. I opted for red for the ladder because I really felt like with so many big areas, any pop of color I could add would be great. Now, one of my best techniques that I love to do is when a sentiment isn't maybe in the right, um, whether it's stacked one on top of another, like this is a long strip, the definitely up to snow good is in a long strip. And we're using sentiments from the snow good sledding and also from the brand new snowmen and bunnies. But we, and definitely up to Snow Good, are from Snow Good Sledding. And I'm going to mask off part of the definitely up to no good so that I can make that two lines of text instead of one. It fits the design better. And then we've stacked text on top of each other going down. So we did we, we did one line of the definitely up to Snow Good. We're going to clean the stamp, move it over, mask off the other area, and stamp the snow good part. But while we're doing that, we're also going to stamp the hello from the snowmen and bunnies. So it's gonna be hello, we definitely up to snow good. So very sentiment heavy. Sometimes sentiment heavy cards just really work. I love when the sentiments are fairly small, which you're gonna see that throughout this video today because it works really well. And there's areas on each one of the cards that just naturally allow themselves to be perfect for adding all of those little um, sentiments and then the rest of the embellishment. Because we did use a water-based ink, I will tell you I let that background dry for probably, I, I went and ran errands, so two and a half hours and came back to heat emboss. Otherwise, you're gonna need to dry that because it does stay wet a little bit longer, but just wanted to throw that out there. That's how I was able to heat emboss so easily. We're gonna add some silver star confetti and a little red heart to finish off this card design. So one layer. This panel will be added to a white top fold card base and that is it. I did take a black pen for the eyes on the snowmen and the mice, noses on the mice, whiskers on the mice, and then the mouth for the snowman. Isn't that cute? I just love these images. Next, we are gonna be using one of the box images from the snowmen and bunnies. There's two different ones. So a really similar design to the first card, but about half the size. We're gonna stamp this on a background of Bristol Smooth cardstock and do pretty much the same coloring as the first, where we're adding some haze blue and blender for the snowman, snowman doing anything lighter and then we'll finish with the deep dark blue background and the red scarf. This one has a bunny, so we're gonna pull in some browns for this cute guy. And again, this is another one, all three cards. Anything I was gonna stamp and emboss on, I actually let set and dry for a couple hours just to make sure it was really good and thoroughly dry before I heat embossed. There's going to be a lot of room for sentiments on this one, which is really, really fun. This is gonna be another one layer card. My last card is going to have a layer that I've die cut and adhered, but it's 
almost one layer, which I'll show you when we get to that. So all of these would be very easy to mail. They're not gonna require extra postage. They're gonna fit in a standard A2 envelope very easily. I don't know if you guys do this or have heard this before, but I will often take a scrap piece of paper, cardstock, packaging, leftover packaging from stamp orders and things like that, just something kind of a little heavier weight, and I will trim it to A2 sized, four and a quarter by five and a half inches, and I place it over the cover, or the cover, the front of the card before I place it in the envelope to protect them. So let's say you're sending it through the mail and the mail machine kind of eats it up. That is going to help protect it because it just makes the card in the envelope a little bit sturdier. And so I almost always will put in some sort of little covering for that. I know that you can also buy like pre-cut little pieces that go over it, but I generally just use something I have lying around um, because it's going to get thrown away anyway, and that way it protects the card when you mail it. I'm again pulling that deep blue out with the haze blue. That bunny is so cute, hanging off the long carrot nose of this snowman. I just, I can't get enough. I think these are darling. The illustrations are beautiful, and I'm a huge, huge fan. So once we have this guy all colored in, and we need to go in with a black pen again and add detail to eyes, mouths, nose, whiskers, anything like that, um, we're going to be ready to add some sentiments and embellishment. For the scarf, I wanted it to also have a little texture, so I went in with deep red first, and then we'll blend out with red. And after we've done that, I generally like to let it sit for a minute, but I didn't give it that time and it worked out. I'm gonna go back with my deep red and really lightly just draw in some little stripes for a tone on tone stripe look. Then just adding that mouth and nose detail in, a little pink cheek, blend it out with the blender and then all the detail on our bunny. I accidentally messed up my sentiment. So I heat embossed it, but I messed it up and I am taking this awesome tool from uh, Kucher Creations and it's battery operated and it's kind of an eraser. Oh my gosh, you guys, I am in love with this thing. I just got it and I made that mistake and I was so upset, so I'm glad that worked. You will notice that I already stamped and embossed some sentiments down below. Both of those sentiments I used, the one my wish for you and the other one are from a previous Colorado Craft Company Anita Jerem release. This is the Snow Happy stamp set, which has like a deer and bunnies in it, but I love the sentiments with this design. And then we're doing what we did for the last card, where we're breaking apart the sentiment here from the Snowman and Bunny stamp set. Winter is not a season, it's a celebration, so it fits in that little area right there to the right of the snowman above his nose. So I tested my cardstock to make sure that because I had stamped it and I can see stuff is still sticking to it. So I need to make sure it's dry before I try to stamp that again. So I'm gonna hit it with my heat tool again. That's a great little tip. If you have already stamped it and you wanna make sure that it's dry so you can re-stamp it, just put some embossing powder over it and if it sticks, then you can wipe it away and you know that you need to stamp it again. So there I have stamped my two lines of text. Winter is not a season, it's a celebration. I love how it fits right there. Lots of text on this card, but it all flows together beautifully. My wish for you was stamped and embossed in red. I love how it ties into the red of the design. We're adding some little stars, a little heart again, 
and then we'll place this on a top fold card base. We are ready for our final card share today, which are these Celebrating Mice New Year's card. So cute, and there's coordinating dies for them, which is really, really fun. So I was able to create a background for them with ink blending tools instead of coloring. I'm gonna use a Lawn Fawn Hillside stencil and I'm going to blend a Blueprint Sketch and Tumbled Glass above my stencil to make the night sky. So I really wanted to try to achieve a similar look to the first two cards, but of course this time I'm using Distress Oxide inks. We're just protecting that bottom portion of the four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel with our stencil and it gives us that kind of nice slopey edge which is the perfect uh, spot to stand our little mice. We're gonna blend in that tumbled glass. And then I did spritz this whole panel with water from a distress sprayer. I did it away from my desk because, because the zig markers are water-based and I did not want any stray water to accidentally touch those and make the, the design bleed. And then I'm gonna set that aside to completely air dry while I color in these cute images. The image is actually all one, it's connected, but there's two separate dies for die cutting it out. So I've stamped it on some Bristol Smooth cardstock again with the Jellyfish ink from Lawn Fawn, and we're gonna color everything in with our Zig Clean Color Real Brush markers. This stamp set is called Happy New Year. And these little guys celebrating are so cute. The sentiments included are Happy New Year, and then I'll be using May Your New Year Be Just One Big Happy Smile After Another. There's also Be Merry, which I think would work for a holiday card if you wanted it to. And Let's Make Merriment, which I'm also going to use on my card. We're gonna use two of these phrases for this card design. For the barware container, I used oatmeal and dark oatmeal, and then I did a little light green and yellow green for the leaves on the holly berry, which I like that little nod to the holidays in this design. Because you could turn this into um, a different kind of celebration card if you wanted to. It wouldn't have to be New Year's if you choose to maybe just use the Be Merry sentiment. We're coloring in the mouse with dark gray and light gray with pale pink for the insides of the ear and the cheeks. I love how the one over on the left is holding a little drink umbrella in one hand and then an olive on another. I think that's funny. So for our umbrellas, we are gonna do a red section, a yellow orange section and a green section. And color and shade all of those in. I went for bright and colorful. So the first two cards are pretty um, traditional, I guess I would say in color with the blues and then uh, little touches of red as a nod to holidays. And this one, I really love the look of adding rainbows into cards wherever possible. So we, the umbrellas have a little bit of rainbow and then the rest of the tools in the little bar in like the shit, the, shaker is what I wanted to say, are gonna be a rainbow. So we'll have pink, red, um, yellow, orange, green, turquoise or teal, blue and purple in there with the little holly sprig. 
I think it's cheese back behind this mouse. So I colored that in with um, light brown and a blender. I really like that for cheese. And then we'll color in the other mouse with dark gray and light gray and pale pink. I didn't instantly color the ribbon wrapped around the cheese because I want to use red. And remember, I'm super leery of coloring anything after I've used red that's next to it because the red just tends to bleed and run into everything. Little black pen detail makes a huge difference on the car on the finished card. So much fun, you guys. I just love these little guys. They are absolutely darling. There's a lot more to color on this one than there were on the previous two cards. But I did leave it in here because I incorporated quite a few different marker colors. And this is probably a good time to mention again, if you're new here, I get asked often what set to buy from the Ziggs. I did not buy mine as a set. Um, I wasn't sure when I started out if I was going to want all of them or not. And so I bought some individually. I probably have most of them, but I don't have all of them. Um, but by this point, I probably have most of them, but I did buy mine individually. So I don't think you really could go wrong with any set and you can always fill in with some individuals if you want to. But I like to let everybody know that because I didn't buy a set, so I don't really feel super comfortable um, telling you which one to buy because I didn't buy them that way myself. For the drinks, we're using a little pale dawn gray and light blue, which seems like such a funny color combination, but I wanted it to look like a glass with liquid in it, and I really liked how this turned out. I was a little nervous because I have never used this color combination together, and it ended up being like kind of a success. I really liked it. Then that little party popper back there, that's some light green and yellow green with red and light carmine as the little label. We're gonna do the other drink glass exactly the same. And then we'll just color in all the tools. I'm gonna add a little detail down near the base. There's some great little kind of just texture. Let's move all those markers out of the way and grab our coordinating dies. I'm gonna trim those apart off camera, line them up and die cut these cuties. Now, even though these are two separate dies, it really kind of goes together seamless, but I love that you can use them separately. So the stamp is one piece and the dies are two. You could split these up and actually create two different cards very, very easily. Now, instead of mixing and matching from multiple stamp sets for this card, everything is going to be from the Happy New Year set. We're going to stamp the longer phrase down near the bottom with black ink in the quote unquote snow. And then up above, we're going to stamp Let's Make Merriment with clear embossing ink and heat emboss in white. I always love white embossing for a snowy background because I just think it adds to that snowy feel. After we've heat set the other sentiment, we can go ahead and adhere our mice and all of the cocktail and party goodies in a border there. Oh, actually, I forgot one step. So in the Happy New Year set, there is like confetti or uh, sparkles, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want them to be. I kind of did more of a sparkly type thing. 
We're gonna stamp this, I believe, four times throughout the design and heat emboss with silver embossing powder. So it's gonna kinda of go up through the sentiment, the Let's Make Merriment sentiment, and then we're gonna have one off to the left, kind of down there by the umbrella, and then another one coming up from the drink over on the right side of the card. It adds just a little something. If there's any overlapping the sentiment that you don't want there, just take a dry paintbrush before you heat it and wipe away that embossing powder you don't want like I just did and then heat set. Let's do the final two. Add our confetti, our little red clay heart that I've kept consistent throughout and glue these cuties down in place. And then I'm just trying to figure out the placement for this last one. And I did use my die cuts to gauge where everything was going to be stamped before I stamped it. So I didn't adhere it before because I try not to adhere anything when I'm using embossing powder so it doesn't stick, like stick to the edges of the die cuts, if at all possible. So I would lay them in place, move them around, add my stamps to my Misty take them out of the way, stamp and emboss. That's why I waited so long and why I kept putting them back and forth. If it doesn't bother you or you wanna wipe away those embossing powder flakes that might um, kind of congregate around the edges of the designs, you could always go ahead and glue those down. Now I'm just gonna scatter some little dabs of glue and add my little silver star confetti pieces for that added touch of sparkle and shine. I love that sentiment, may your new year be just one big happy smile after another. So, so cute. So here is a look at all three cards. I will tell you that I accidentally forgot to stamp part of the sentiment for this card. So in the finished photo, you'll see here, you'll notice that there is the snowflake and the rest of that blessing sentiment added. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for this set of three sentiment heavy cards featuring brand new stamps and dies from the Colorado Craft Company, Anita Jerem Release. The supplies I use to create my cards are listed and linked below the video here on YouTube. Here is another video featuring Colorado Craft Company stamps and dies that you might be interested in. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell to never miss a new card making video. Thank you so much for joining me today and we'll see you next time.